Hey there, it's April the 10th. We're continuing our journey through Luke's Gospel. We're in Luke chapter 13, starting at verse 22, and we're going through to chapter 14 and verse 6. Some of the things that Jesus says are really very hard to receive, and we often think of them as being the hard sayings of Jesus. And one of those is here, where someone calls out and says, Jesus, will there only be a few who are saved? Jesus then paints a picture of a narrow door that is hard to get through and people who don't make it through, that it's difficult to get through this door. In fact, he says that the master at one, some point will shut the door. There will be a, a finishing point. And actually, um, Abraham, Isaac and Jacob, uh, the, the patriarchs and the prophets will be there, but not everyone is going to make it in. Jesus is really being um, very specific here. This is referring to Israel and obviously referring to himself as Israel's Messiah. And he is saying that it's important to receive Israel's Messiah because he actually ends the, um, uh, ends the uh, chapter with a cry to Jerusalem. He says, Jerusalem, you're the ones who stone the prophets. And we're coming on to that in a moment because the Pharisees tell him that, G that Herod is after him. Herod is wanting to kill him. And Jesus says, you tell that old fox I'm going to continue my work and on the third day I will complete it. But he says, this is the place, after all, Jerusalem is the place where the prophets are condemned, where the prophets are killed. And so he's still referring to this um, issue of Israel not receiving the Messiah, of not knowing him, um, because they're not that they're not following his ways and so Jesus then uh, calls out over Jerusalem 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 who killed the prophets how often I wanted to gather you I wanted you to acknowledge me but it was not going to be and actually he prophesies the the destruction that's coming of Jerusalem and says it will only be avoided if you receive the one by saying Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. This is uh, a, a reference to Psalm 118, to the end of the great Hallel, the great praise of Israel, where it said, Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. We bless you from the house of the Lord. And this is what they would cry when Jesus entered Jerusalem. But he's saying, Jerusalem, you need to receive me. And then at the beginning of chapter 14, Jesus is again in a synagogue on the Sabbath. And here he is a woman who has uh, a, a, an illness, dropsy it's called, and uh, she is bent over, she can't move, and Jesus heals her. But the Pharisees are watching him, and Jesus says to them, look, is it is it is it not lawful to, to heal someone on the Sabbath, even if your son or, or, or a, a, an ox or something fell into a well, you would act, even if it was a Sabbath, Sabbath day, to rescue them. And it says the Pharisees were unable to give him an answer. Once again, we are confronted with the uh, contrast between the external things that we do to try and get God's favour and the relationship with Jesus. Several times in this reading, Jesus says, well, in one point he says, depart from me, I didn't know you. The key is actually not the doing, the doing stuff to justify ourselves, but the knowing him and his ways. Relationship with Jesus is the key factor. Let's continue day by day to deepen our relationship with the Lord and make sure that we know him and his ways. Have a very good April the 10th.